Hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome back. It's your boy, Mr. Stardew, with another video. Yes, another video, another cooking video. This will be my third cooking video. So today, we're going to get into this cooking thing, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to teach y'all how to cook a roast in the oven. Yes, a roast in the oven with the potatoes. So let me show y'all what I'm what I'm going to pair with the roast. Okay, people, so as you see, we have the roast right here. We have the seasoning, we have a cabbage, we got the cornbread, jippy mix. Yes, I use jippy mix. We got the potatoes, we got the mac and cheese right there. You know what I'm saying? All this shouldn't take but two hours to prepare. You know what I mean? Two hours. So without further ado, let's get ready to see. Wash. Hey, number one, you got to wash this meat. Wash it real good. So what I'm going to do is clean out my sink, wash the meat, and when I come back, the meat will be in the pan, and I'll be ready to season the meat. So give me a second. Okay, people, as you can see, I got my roast in this roasting pan with an aluminum foil. So let me explain about the aluminum foil. The aluminum foil is going to help keep the roast moist. You know what I'm saying? It's going to make it real tender after two hours because I'm going to seal it up. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to seal it up. So within two hours, it should be tender and done. Maybe two and a half hours. So the seasoning part, here what you're going to do. You're going to take a measuring glass and you're going to put about um, a half a cup of water. Take this seasoning roast. It's, it's, I know it says pot roast, but I'm cooking it in the oven. So it's, it's, just, it's, the, same, it's the same stuff that you use on a roast, but you know, I'm just, I'm, you know, I know it says slow cook or seasoning mix. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to slow cook it in the oven. And as you all will see the end of results at the end of this video. So um, you take it, put it in, the, in there because you want to get it mixed up. Yes, I do season my meat before I start cooking it because there's really no sense to season. This is like <clears throat> this type of season right here, you got to cook it. It's self-explanatory. Y'all see it, slow cooker seasoning. So this type of seasoning right here, you got to cook. Let it cook with the meat from start to finish. Not just add it on like halfway through. So what you're going to do, you got to mix it up real good. Mix it up real good. And I love pot roast. I ain't had a pot roast in a minute. But me eating out and everything, you know what I'm saying? I just take, I said to myself today, signed it. And I'm gonna cook me a dinner, a banging dinner. Now that y'all saw those eggs, yeah, those eggs are for the um, Jiffy mixed cornbread. So I got that mixed up real good. I know it don't look right, but it, it's seasoning. So what you're gonna do is pour it over the meat. Get up out of there. Now, as you can see, that is enough liquid in there. You don't want to add no more because it's going to make its own liquid. So, now, I'm going to add another pack because I love my meat to be real seasoned. I'm going to take this pack and sprinkle it on there like so. Because like I said, it's going to make its own juices, you know what I'm saying, once I seal it up. And yes, I got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. So that been preheated for about 30 minutes now. So it, it's good and ready to get up in now. You know. Yeah, this is going to be awesome. It's going to taste mm -mm, good. And I'm going to take one more seasoning pack. I was going to add four, but I think I'm just going to add three. Because I, like I said... I like for my, my meat to be seasoned real good. And uh, this is some good seasoning mix, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> real good. Let y'all get a look of it one more time. It's, it's essentials, pot roast, slow cooking mix, seasoning mix, I'm sorry. Yes, go get it at your um, food depot if y'all got one. If not, then I don't, I, they might have them at all the stores, but I got this at food depot. Mm, this stuff smells good already. It ain't even started cooking yet. And um, 
I have like a ham hock. <laughs> That's, I sound funny saying it like that. I have like a ham hock cooking on the stove for the cabbage. So I'm letting that, that been cooked for about, um, about 40 minutes. So I'm gonna let that cook. Then once, like about an hour, about 45 minutes into the roast, that's when I'm gonna add that to the um, add the cabbage to the um, pot. That way, everything will be done within two hours. So that's good right there. I don't want to put too much. That's good. That's good. And you gotta kind of like eyeball it. You know what I'm saying? I can't really tell you how much. Okay, yes, I can. I use one pack with water. I use another pack. I put that whole pack in now. And the last pack, I just put half of it in now. There you go. Got it. Y'all got it? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a little bit more water. I got a little bit more stuff left in this measuring cup. So I'm gonna put some water right there. And we good. So now, that's it for us, the seasoning. So now what you're gonna do is get ready to sear this bad boy up. And just as soon as I find my um, aluminum foil, we can, oh, there it is. Yeah, so we're gonna sear this bad boy up. There's, there's no need to um, be checking it like an hour because this won't, it ain't gonna burn up this bacon. So about then, you know, it makes its own liquid so it's not gonna dry out. Trust me, I, I've been cooking roast for a long time. A long time, so I know. Mr. Stars is no. Get that guy seared up real good right there. So now, as you see, he sealed up. He sealed up and he ready to go in the oven. So I'm finna get ready and put him in the oven and I'm gonna let him sit in there for about two hours. So, which it won't take two hours for y'all to wait. It'll be like the next cut, but it's gonna take me two hours just to get it cooked. So I'll see y'all once. I see y'all back here in about two hours, which won't take y'all but a second. All right, YouTube and fellow collectors, the roast is done. The roast is done. Y'all see the smoke? Y'all see that smoke? Y'all see the potatoes? Now I know y'all didn't see me add the potatoes, but um, <clears throat> I put those potatoes in now and um, these potatoes are already just like butter just like and get what i got like a plastic fork plastic fork so just like butter but watch the meat though watch the meat look it up tender tender plastic fork tender tender mm. tender i can cut it with a plastic fork it's so tender. Look at that. That is tender. <clears throat> that is tender, people. So, that's it. And uh, I'm going to let y'all in on something. It did. It took me longer than two hours. Um, Actually, it took me about four hours. So, I apologize. I apologize. I thought it was going to take two. But it took like four hours. So, when you're cooking this right here in the oven, it'll take about four hours. So, yeah. But it's ready. It's ready. So let me know in the comments what you think. <clears throat> Tell me that I, you know, if I'm doing something wrong or I don't think I'm doing that wrong because this 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 here is tender. Tender. I'm finna get ready to eat now. I got everything done, cooked. You no know, one got the macaroni and cheese and got the um cabbage ready so yes so we finna dig in people so um yeah let me know in the comments what you think and um i'll be hitting y'all up with probably another cooking video next sunday 
something else. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Deuces.